She's chipped the turbo, she's checked out, she was punching the air at the start. Oh, we've had a wipe it up and over on this jump here. But your winner of the 11 to 9 to 10 year old females, Millie Navos Ross. Loves his second straight, eating out front at the moment. Ridley's all yeah. over him into turn number two. Though. Back to the field of the straight, still eaten from Ridley, from Stark, from that's going to be Farmer. Where is Salmon? Oh, he's backtracked. He's tied up, he's blown up, and it's all over for him for the day. But here we go, last straight. Ian holding on out at the moment, looks to be taking the 50 and over win from Ridley in the two. Starks, oh my, no, I didn't even see that. He's been shot out of a cannon into turn number one. Watch this guy, ladies and gentlemen, for the pure technique. He does not miss a backside. Jumps over it, pushes down at the right times. Even looks over his shoulder, which he shouldn't really be doing on the second straight of a raceway. He's got a bag of the moment. Oh, I think that's rough in the two. It's going to be rough in the two. Yes, it is. Charlie rough in the two. And Bobby Lyons or Joe Trevina and Vinton Coburn from Bath. Holly Mann's back there in the four at the moment. But the battle is on two and three. Pumped his way through. Oh, now someone took the win for about the 95th time in six races. And it is the 471 and the 335 with Finley Thomas on the outside. So it is the 335. I think that's going to be Jasper Eels. He's had a great day today, leading this one out. I think he's won one already. Whether he's won another one, I don't know. Finley Thomas is winding his way up for the second straight charge in the third place. And the 471 of Alfred McGarvey Miles in the two. Here comes Cohen Scooter will pass me. And Millie Moore also leading the girls out. 
straight, but down on the third straight, Jasper Reels looking super smooth, Finley Thomas has made his way into the two, and McCarthy Miles and Atlas Lewis Fielder in the three and four spot at this moment in time. Back into the last straight then, here is Jasper Reels looking like he's got this one, but never the right, Finley off. Coming through over the doubles, it is indeed. Jasper Hills with the one, Finley in the two, Atlas and Alfred in the three and four, Cohen in the five, and here comes Millie Moore. She's deserved to get to sit in the back seat and have her eye paddle. <laughs> moment time is Hindley by about a bike flank from Young going over the step up. Hindley gets a cheeky little crank in into the manual. Elbows out. First pedal's good. Out of the second first turn. Cranking up and over. Young is definitely not done with. And also in there in the three. And obviously Isaac on this. He's looking to but Isla Young is on his tail. So can Young catch Young in one and two? Can Young catch I Odlin in three and four? Paige Cathcart Cunnison's also there in the five. Last corner then. Hindley leading out from Young. What's Young got? Has he got anything in the locker? Hindley's pumping his way, looking smooth, but here comes Young with a charge. Sharpen your pencils, finish line, ladies. It is still Hindley, holding on. And it is Sullivan versus Zappanots going into the first trip with Charles Whitworth in the three. Alistair North on the inside in the fourth place at this moment in time. But it is that man, that machine, Henry Sullivan, jumping the tabletop, showboating for his fans. But Dominic Safanov is starting to close that gap, or is he? You've got Leary in the four at the moment, and Charles Whitworth in the three. Leary coming back at Whitworth. There's a battle, three and four, keep your eye on that one. Five and six, also a battle. But up front, Henry Sullivan is putting on a performance, pumping his way in a straight. Look out for that guy come the Nationals, because I think he's going to have something to say. Zafiros with a very solid two, and Leary's had a great day in three. And Charles Whitworth in the four. That's your one to four from Commentator Moore. <laughs> into the turn in the lead. Betty's settled into second and you've got Prick Navlad Manis in the three at the moment and the 753 of Rory Smith in the four at the moment and Malachi from Betty from Christian that's your one to three up the inside Malachi with about a three by length lead Betty holding her position in the two and the 063 looking smooth with Christian Prick Navlad Manis last turn action then I don't think anything's going to change barring a disaster or Betty really finding a turn of speed your winner of your eight-year-old A final from Hayden the Horts, Malachi Smith. Well, Malachi, is it? If it's Malachi, it, you could well be right. <laughs> Pedal manual Whitaker takes him into the lead. Eaton coming back round on the low line underneath. You've got the Oh my goodness me! Who is that? For fuck? That's Louis, Louis Iconic! You are Louis, that was a hell of a crash. But anyway, up front Whitaker's looking good with the manual Eaton too. And Leary settled into the three, jumping his way through for the four was Jamie Webb. Louis Deconic was absolutely flying down this second straight. Unclipped. Sort of did the splits in the air and landed on the right buttock. Chidley in the five at the moment, nicely strung out at the moment. So Amelia Ian showing her pedigree at the moment. You've got Leary and Ward after a crash in the two and three. With Ward getting a tiny, Young getting a bit of a wobble. Sophie Carter in the six. Ella Blue Chidley in the five and Cara Salmon in the six. That's going to be Yerbury in the eight. But Amelia Ian showing that she will not be beaten. Your British champion, your Bath local, looking good for the win. Leary coming through for the two, Ward for the three, Young for the four, Chidley pumping through for the five, looking good. Colson's got the heat though from Salmon. Salmon's found some charge from somewhere. She takes the six, and Colson in the seven, and Yerbury eight. <laughs> Oh, 
Stemmets just edging out Palmer. There's your one and two. Palmer pa shuffling back into the seventh of Lucas Burpart just on his shoulder. So we have double M6 Wes Bart and the 506 has come through for the two. The 506 is Ollie Warner in the two. Looks to be. And this one just about the 13.2 of Leo Bradley in the three. Finley Palmer's in the four at the moment. But Stemmets, look at that corner in style. What are they feeding them down in Bristol? He is taking the win, looking like an American air. Harlow oh, Stemmets, your winner of the nine-year-old A final. So Galat oh he's gone down there, that's gonna be Prickner of Lab Manis, I think, at the moment then. One S on his play, been winning all day long, didn't get an amazing gate, but he's got there in the end, he's got the job done. Adrian Galatis from the Arlel Kindy for Marlo Gonzalez in the three. So to Newton Hindley, go right Charlie Wilcox off to I know he can make moves and he's getting stuck on him this time by Max Fass but at the moment Elvis Lawrence pedal manually over the top here we go side by side second corner action Logan Young looks at Brown he's the quickest on that though to Elvis Lawrence pulled away about three bite legs into the second Newton Hindley jumping his way into the last corner but Charlie Wilcox is looking to stick a move on him here we go then Elvis Lawrence from Young Young is coming back now Young is coming back with an absolute chance not enough. Elvis Lawrence takes the win. Oh, slip spun and it's gone. AOT that has left. Stuck with the lead into the first turn, but he's got none other than Kevin Merrill. Oh, Merrill's gone. They've all got one, two, three, four. Oh, it's like a scene from Platoon. One guy's going over the corner. They're swapping bikes. That's left start with about eight bike legs, I would say. Up there in the two, it is. That's going to be the guy from Bristol, isn't it? So, start all his Christmases came at once about two weeks too late. Taking the win in the 14 over cruisers. Everybody else looks like they're all right. All one piece, they're chatting about things. We should make a race to the finish line, really, should we? On your marks, the set, go! <laughs> go on, so you got Merrin. Me coming back uh, into the last turn. Me jumping his way up and over. Merrin shut down. Penny's called it a day. Well, but it is that's going to be Cody Coco on the pure bicycles from Cameron Cox here one and two where's Lou Wilcox he's shuffling it into the third space so Coco looking good Cox gets a little bit sideways on the nose that's Cox in the three so who's at the two but that is Cox in the three so Cody Coker looking good, manual in through that second straight, driving with the back wheel, so too is Wilcox. Coker jumping into the last corner, sets himself for the last straight. Wilcox has got one final push in him, he's very quick through the rhythm se sections, not enough. Coker takes the win from Wilcox, from Cox. <laughs> to take it to the front it's twitching at the moment but here comes I think that's Moon on the inside is it or is it Young it is indeed Moon someone's got over the turn so 156 you go Moon from Zach Twitching Oscar Tolbert has got time he's in the third spot at the moment second corner back in my direction it is still Moon from Twitching for um, Tolbert your 1, 2, 3 and your 4, 6, 7 and Ted Warwick in the 4 last straight action here we go Moon winding it up oh he's gone 
dropped it. It's cost him. Here comes Twitching. Not enough, though. Moon holds on. Twitching two, twelve at three. Show one, two, and three. It looks better than Cowley, he's got a good one. Parr has come up the inside. Oh, that's gonna... Helen McHale, that wasn't good. Parr came up the inside of there. But Annabelle Townsend out front, making their way into a headwind on this straight. It makes it all very slow and hard work. Danielle Grattan, oh, in there on. in the floor, just about the moment. But just been swooped by Watts. So, Townsend out the front, and Cowley, you've got Parr in the free, she'll be happy with that. Helen McHale in the floor. Oh, nose bumps that one a little bit, but holds on. Here we go then. Townsend with the win. Can Parr get Cowley? That's the race. Here we go. Cowley's tying up. Bars coming with smoothness. For Kells, Bars have gone forward, I think. That's your one to four. leading us out from Tobin into the, no, Tobin's in the four so it is on one goes a little bit wide that has us the SW1 and Sam Smith for here please stay he says to the others Janelle McCarthy is back walking his way through the track but it is jumping the triple on the second straight on oh, one from Sam Smith from Flynn Albert Carp, here comes Oscar. Oscar coming back in Finn. It could cause a point. Tobin just jumping his way through. I think the win goes to Arn Esselman. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Safe trip home. It is the middle of the afternoon. A good night. See you in Bournemouth.